Battle FIFA Faithful, Bear Hams here with episode 26 of Youth Squad Gods with Northampton Town. Today we have a few upgrades, and the first one comes from Long Live Patback. He picked Piranha, and he gave him the number 11 because of Lucas Torreya, who is currently at Arsenal. He also chose some pretty sexy boots, I'd have to say, the Black Cat Nikes. Also asked for high socks, a tight fit, and short sleeves. So that is Mr. Piranha. Second one comes from Tomahawk Gaming, so he has a second straight customization, and this one is for Ralph Van Huydonk. He pretty much asked for orange everything, and also asked for the number 33. So it's pretty straightforward. There is Ralph Van Huydonk. The footage that you saw from the cold open was from well, what was supposed to be episode 26, but I decided to scrap that episode entirely. Uh, there were really no highlights to show for it, and as someone who's trying to make his episodes better and better and better each time, after watching the edited version altogether, I felt like I was taking two or three steps backwards. I decided then just to pretty much play the rest of the year until the game against Portsmouth. So we will have an, a Portsmouth game in this episode, but it will be an FA Cup match, which will be very interesting. So in this episode, instead of playing those three games in November, we're going to play Portsmouth away for the third round of the FA Cup, and then we will also travel to Carroll Road to play Norwich, and then we'll finish it off with a game against Sunderland. And... During the meantime, we will have some transfer news since we are in the January transfer window. During some of the games I played off camera, I switched up the formation from the 4-3-3 to a 3-4-3, considering that our players were just not getting up and into the action. It was really hard for Van Huydonk to get anything going, along with the guys on the wings. Just no one was doing anything. It was like stick in the mud. It was that bad. So pretty much we're just throwing five people up front, just hoping we can get something in the back of the net. So hopefully this episode will start unlike the last one that never was. Another reason why I decided not to upload the ill-fated episode 26, because a lot of things that I said afterwards actually reversed themselves, believe it or not because I was kind of pissed off that Downing wasn't doing any, anything. And then, of course, right when I'm done recording and play some games off camera, he's, you know, good old Downing. As soon as I stopped recording uh, episode 26, like, Van Huydunk wasn't scoring anything. And, of course, the game right after, he scores a brace. And he starts playing like a... What I wanted him to play like, just a, a viable replacement for Aguilera. It's now Downing with a cross in the box. We had people there, just not quite accurate on Downing's part. Aw, oh, missed tackle by Evans. There might be a chance for Portsmouth, and there we go. 19th minute. It's a poor play by Evans, but I really can't blame the back three. They are all very tired. December and it's the 13 games of Christmas or every other day you're at least playing a game of sorts now back to Wilson Wilson tries to get to Nuba but it will be blocked oh good through pass Wilson ah oh, man that would have been nice oh, I'll make that run Nuba there we go Nuba's through Nuba touch Shoots! Scores! There we go! Newble! Thank you, sir. Last year it was the Carabao Cup, and now it might just be the FA Cup where he just demolishes teams. That's is actually his first goal of the season. He hasn't been doing so hot in league play. Can't really blame him since it's not League One. That ball gets launched up. That'll be it. So there will be a replay for the third round. It will be at home. 
which will be nice for us. It is the 1st of January and we've already had some sales. Scarlettitis is going to Admiral Wacker and Porteus is going to Ostersons for 320, oh that's, we're getting $325,000, but almost a half a million dollars for Scott Porteus. Second game of the episode, we take on Norwich City. I think, I think Van Hui Donk's up for the challenge today. Ooh. I'm really liking the pattern on the grass. They almost scored a goal on me because I was so fascinated by the pitch. Now it looks like they're going to have some trouble on the wings here as Hernandez gets past Lutweiler. Oh, he should have he should have finished that one. Cantwell. That was wide open. Why did he have to sky it like that? Oh, good through pass. Olkowski finish it. No! No, another post. Ugh. Also, the last time we played Norwich, I brought up the idea of doing a save with them. Now, if I do a save with them, it won't be until the very end of the FIFA cycle because I have other ideas kind of set up. Actually, they're more than just set up. I already have thumbnails for them. And I also have thumbnails for projects I'm never going to do because I've been testing. I have honestly been testing a bunch of saves to see if they'd be worth it. And I might start one of them soonish. It's I still got this to deal with. So I don't really want to kind of split time between other series as well. There's a good play by Downing to keep the ball. Not quite the cross though. As it did get to McCutcheon, but McCutcheon just didn't know what to do with it. So I'll probably introduce a new series next year. Already got a team picked out. Already got the rules in place. It will be less complicated than the rules for this save. And it will take place in more than one league. We'll just put it that way. Pavez with a shot from distance. Oh, and he hits the post. How many times do we have to hit the post? Come on, game. Oh, we're out of position. Oh! Oh, what a play, Marcus Evans. Wow. All right, replay on that one. That deserves a replay. Hide that, hide that. All right. That is stone cold right there with that slide tackle. Guy thought he had an open net. He thought wrong. All right, last chance for any team. Here we go. Downing doesn't have time. So just like the majority of the games that I have played off camera, it was nil-nil. Again. I don't need to repeat what everyone else is saying in the career mode community. This patch stinks. FA Cup replay. Once again, Portsmouth. Let's get it done. Ah, another rainy one. When we were at Fratton Park, it was rainy, and it's rainy again. Oh, get that through. There you go. Wilson, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is he going to find Dragic? No, he's not. Oh. What a waste. Try to get that to Novak, but Novak just had his head somewhere else. Good through ball to Newbull. Newbull cuts. Finds Wilson. Wilson to Grant, who takes a shot, but... I mean, are we, are we really going to put all of our hope into our left back for scoring that? No. Oh, we're just going to launch it, and then that will be half. Oh, it almost went in, too. 
Again, another boring ass half because of the stupid patch. God. Oh, come on, Grant. Just a free and easy cross for the other team. There's honestly nothing much to say. Like, I could play another game just to have it somewhat interesting, but it's just going to end up the same way. All these games are going to be 1-0 nil or 0-0. Nil nil. And I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do at this point. Honestly, the only good thing about that was it was a cup game. So we didn't lose any ground in the standings because of that. So now we're in 12th, 8 wins, 10 draws, 8 losses, 22 goals with 26 against. Somehow we're going to stay in this mid-table. And if the games are as dull as they are now, what I might just do is kind of speed up the process of this season. Reason being, I don't really want to be sitting through nil-nil, one-nil games. I honestly don't. I don't one bit. I don't really care. I mean, I'd rather play those nil-nil, one-nil games off camera and not have you guys just sit through just a game of, like, slap. I don't even know. Like, when I, when I tried filming episode 26, that was on Friday. I thought taking a couple days off would be nice. I'd get back to it. I'd see you know, patterns in the game that I'd be able to, you know, maneuver through. No, they'll just sit there. They don't do anything. Uh, the rubber boots issue is even worse now. You can't get the ball cleared out of the box. It's awful. This game is getting worse and worse. And it's getting real hard to record episodes and make them somewhat enjoyable. I mean, look how many goals we're scoring that entire three-game stretch. Three goals. And those goals were scored in two of those games. I honestly, I don't know what to do. Um, I might, I might honestly just take a break from the series and just stream. Or do something like that. Because this is getting ridiculous. And whoever's sticking through this patch, you're fighting the good fight. And you're yeah, you're doing wonders. Keep doing that if you can if you're up to it, go for it. But you know, I might just do some more football manager stuff. I might actually get back to doing the uh streaming with Shalka. I know that's still FIFA, but I care I deeply care about this Northampton team succeeding as much as the Schalke one. And I think if we're going to have to deal with these types of results, I'd rather deal them with Schalke, to be honest with you. So, rant over there. We're going to end the episode. Could have been more entertaining, I know. Thought we're just having to stick through this godforsaken patch. So this will be the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I tried playing it. <laughs> be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. This has been Bearhams, and as always, toodaloo.